Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. AZ is a player which Manchester United are really looking out to bring in 2025. And that's not me saying this. It is Fabrizio Romano, the guy most of you really believe in. I, but the reason why I'm doing this video today is, I know I've been around outside for a long while, but the reason I'm doing this video is because it's a real story from Fabrizio and I really want to talk about it for you guys. AZ is considered one of the best wingers in the Premier League at the moment. He was... I mean, he played the last Euro tournament with England. Very good impact. A player which is kind of creative in the, at his own level. I just want to get your view as a fan, as someone who supports Manchester United. If you think that with all what is going on with Manchester United, the solution will be a £60 million pound AZ to improve Manchester United. I think AZ being a £60 pound player going to... I won't tell you about that. That's what I will talk about. But another, so we have two stories in this video. Sorry, guys. I want to talk also about Anthony, who might be leaving and going out the other way. So, guys, before you continue, we continue this. Please click the like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. We try to bring you guys here yes, um, content daily. It's been tough. Maybe sometime by the end of the year, we'll get a stable um, uh, place where we'll explain to you guys why things have been this uh, uh, very inconsistent here. Yeah. But uh, for now, let's talk about the real news. The real news is this is a story which I want to know from you guys. Manchester United in us has gone through several stages in terms of doing reviews with United. Not only last year, this year. And they have discovered that the problem with Manchester United was to improve, to, is to, for us to bring creative wingers. If I ask you as someone who watches Manchester United games, what is your biggest problem Manchester United in the pitch, right? From what you see what will you say because on a personal level i think the problem is our midfield if we can't get the combination the midfield and the attacker someone who can score i don't see how we can improve the team if we bring a good a good creative player in AZ, or let's say nicky williams because he has been one of the really creative players and then we don't have the attackers to score the goals i think how do we win games some of you might say the defense, but I really don't think the defense is an issue. I, I really believe that the biggest problem we have is for us to keep games because keep ball on the midfield, how to control games on the midfield. How do you, how does the goals come from? It comes through the midfield. So if you have a stable midfield that merges together, I think first of all, the goals will not come from our opponent. And uh, we might score one, two, three goals, and we will always get sometimes, sometimes, I mean, mostly good results. So that's the way I see in regards to Manchester United. The problem for United is not another winger for me. The problem for United is to get, uh, get more creative midfielders. Because when you look at our game, right, we have Ericsson who has already come out and confirmed he will be leaving Manchester United in the season. He won't be renewing his contract. He will be going to Ajax Amsterdam, and we also know that. Uh, that's already a minus. Bruno, there are some questions about Bruno in the midfield, which I would tell me guys what you think. Do you think Bruno will have two, three more years with Manchester United? Because I don't see it in the way we want to play. He's already 30. Or, yeah, he's close. It's closing in on 30. I think Bruno for Max will have another year. And I'm even looking very, by, I'm really thinking from what I'm seeing with, with Enos is, uh, if it happens that they are going to change the manager, maybe by the end of the season, um, I think Bruno Fernandes will be sold this summer. I think Bruno Fernandes, someone comes with a good deal, they're going to sell Bruno Fernandes. Because when you look at it, we want we are building for the future. We cannot be building with old players, grown players were grumbling. It will be, we, we United clearly will be looking for a new creative midfielder. And Bruno Fernandes will be out of the window. Not because he's a bad player. The, I mean, it's because we still can catch in on him. Bruno Fernandes in today's market will be that 60 million. Considering his performance now, he would have been maybe more if he goes to Saudi Arabia. But I just really believe that uh, uh, Bruno Fernandes is a player that we need to move on in, in order to help us play the type of football we want to play. So, listen, this is another situation I want to explain to you guys. Inos has taken part in the... Uh, they, are taking, they are the ones who are in control of our football side of the, of the club. So they have to make these decisions. They are not in the marketing side or building up the brand. This is not what they do. They are in. They are more in. No, I'm talking about who comes, who manages, who comes in and out. You know, this is what they do. And I think I am. From what I've been reading, I'm very confident that while uh, you have the manager with Eric Tenag, who is is already sixty percent out, 
and he might stay by the end of the season if he does something if he turns things around but at the point where we are he's 60 percent out at the end of the season by the end of the season so might even talk about january things become really bad but i think the biggest problem in manchester united will be that midfield going in for is Il- a a player which will bring some value on the right wing maybe that might be seen now that marcus Rashford will be sold i don't know tell me what you think below maybe that's something we haven't talked spoke about is Marcus Rashford um, are, are, are ignorance trying to sell Marcus Rashford? Because bringing in Eze, it is kind of, uh, I've been thinking this, that maybe if you look, sometimes, you know, you can you can get these puzzles out for yourself. Maybe ignorance are trying to fi- find a market for Marcus Rashford and bring in new blood and new character. Because we, from what we have been listening to Benny McCarthy's uh, interview, all, all those who are saying, United, you see that this problem is not only a manager problem. It's uh, it's the, the the players that are there, one who can motivate each other. We playing, which is not about them. Anyway, guys, I would love to read your comments. It's been a long time. Drop it below, please. For all thanks for all of you staying up with us. We have some of you guys who think we work for. I mean, we we must be here even if we are in a, a, a serious health issue. We have serious health issues, but thanks for all of you staying in. Please make sure you share the video, and let's come to the second point. This is from Offside also, it's a short, uh, 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 an outlet which uh, I think Fabrice also worked with them with other uh, journalists in, in here in the UK work for them. Uh, I just read uh, this morning also about, um, you know, Anthony Da Silva, the Brazilian who we bought from Ajax for 90 million pounds. Oh my life, that's 100 million euros. 90 million pounds. He has, uh, Ineos has put pen on paper, has made a decision on him that he has to be sold. In January, why should they be paying 200,000k a week for a player which is redundant? The player who doesn't fit the profile, a player who is not a collective player, a player who uh, he brings nothing to the table, honestly, apart of small drips and dribbles, you know. Look, I want to say this, guys. I, I, I used to own a Facebook group. We are heading to like 200k. I was banned in this Facebook group, so I don't even have a Facebook account anymore. Uh, I don't know why. I posted my video on Facebook and it bound. I want to tell you guys in an organic way. I've done all my best to contact Facebook, but it's uh, it has its flaws. They can't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, they bound me for uploading my video in my group. But let me come to the story. When Anthony was coming to Manchester United, I, I had this, uh, this group is like two years old already. Um, this group is like two years ago. Actually, it is controlled by one of our moderators here. Uh, yeah, in Tunde. Tunde, thank you for controlling the group. I haven't been there for ages. Well, anyway, uh, uh, look, look, when Manchester United was, um, I mean, wanted to buy this guy, Anthony Da Silva from Ajax, most of our African uh, supporters, they, we got all these pictures of bringing, because most of you who watch football, let me put it this way, the modern football fan, it's, uh, sometimes I, I don't want to take the modern football fan seriously. Why? Because I think you guys really don't understand the core, the core of having a football club. You're all about vanity. Sorry, it is for you, then I have to be honest. All about vanity. It's not that you don't see, it's not that you don't understand, but building a successful football club, you can build a football club. Building a successful football club is more than just bringing one player who will come and play flashy. It has to be a strategy. It has to be, there will have to be a plan. You have to see people who get the right people to execute the plan. Not That's out of the pitch before coming into the pitch. These are basic things, but I'm just speaking, so I'm just reminding. So when we brought Anthony to Manchester United, we thought he was going to solve a problem. And I've said this many times on this community, that the problem with Manchester United is not about one person. Let me tell you, well, Pep Guardiola will not come and solve Manchester United problem. It's a systematic thing. It's something that has to be done backed by, a set, by, by outside forces. What do I mean? People who are not football are not, will not be playing on the pitch. So um, Anthony coming to Manchester United, he came, I mean, he... I mean, my friend of mine told me the other day that Anthony was so angry that Anthony has beaten Jimba Jimba to be the worst uh, signing for Manchester United in Manchester United history. So uh, tell me what you think below. Anthony, uh, sell, selling Anthony, how much will you sell Anthony? We have heard some Turkish teams were interested in him in, uh, in the summer window, but um, and also Brazilian teams. I think it would be difficult for us to get to get half of our money back, it would be very difficult. So I think United, if we can manage to sell Anthony for 30 in a team or maybe have a serious sell-on clause, then maybe that would be the way forward, guys. So yeah, these are the two big news we have uh, for today. 
guys smash if you learned something from this video smash a like on the video i would love you guys to join us that would help us guys please 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 stay be patient with us we are in a very difficult situation i don't need to a out now but uh, maybe by the end of the year we will uh, come out with you guys and make it clear and you guys will understand and uh, even respect our position because you have to be strong when you're in this situation Anyway, guys, smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV. We will be doing our stream sometime by the end of the year when things must have a stable. If you have been watching our content, we have been doing different, we have been seeing different backgrounds because we move from one area to another for a reason well known to me. Anyway, guys, yeah, talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, ciao, ciao.